We're taking all of our taco uh, marketing materials and we're heading into the town of China to go try to sell some free free tacos. American. When you say try, how can you do it? Don't you just do at that point? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think the interesting part is they're not going to trust us because we're just a bunch of gringos. They're not going to know, you know, why are we here? Um, trying to give them food. It's, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Bit bananas over here, federal agent. <laughs> Good morning, and welcome, welcome, welcome to yet another vlog. Um, last night was freezing cold, freezing cold. Luckily, I brought a long sleeve, um, pajama esque sweater, but it was incredibly when we're not fishing today. Today is chalked up. Today is fucked up. Today is messed. I don't even know. I'm gonna go outside and show you guys how windy it is. And I can tell you one thing right now. Right now, it doesn't sound as windy as it sounded last night. Last night was on another level of wind. I thought that the alarms were gonna go off, but then I remember that I'm in Mexico and they don't have those alarms that we do that go off every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Whatever, let me show you. It's. It's not as bad as it was last night. Keep that in mind. Obviously the microphone is gonna be a little bit uh, windy and messed up, but it is bad. Oh my God, look at the trash cans. Those trash cans are full of stuff and they were still knocked over. Now, the reason that we aren't going fishing today... Oh, look at this. Naked boy. Uh, the reason that we're not uh, fishing today... Whose sock is that? That's gross. The, fi the reason we're not fishing today is obviously the reason that you see. It's super, super windy. It's super windy. The forecast says that it's going to be storming like a mug mug. Is mug still used? in this world and a boy Mikey one rod one reel oh so that's yours so you that was you you had your close that's your close hanging out no way Herrick fucking pushed me in the water yesterday bro had to dry him out for real he pushed me in the water two times. But there's like stumps in the water. Yeah, I could have fallen out of a stump and killed myself. You could have like broken your back. Yeah, no shit. Guys, guys fucking sick. So, so, so I found your sock. Oh yes, I need that. I need my sock. I found your sock. Uh, is that my sock? That's that's your sock. What I really need is the insole to my shoe. That's what I really need. If I if I find that, then all is good. The it's gotta the be insole way. to yeah, your shoe. Yeah, you know how like the. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. If we find that, we're good. Uh, here's my sock. That's your sock. And the insole is lighter, so it's got to be farther down this way. All right. I mean, it might be difficult, bro. I, I, I don't want to spend too much time. I can still wear the shoe without it, but it's all good. No, we're on a mission. <laughs> well, the thing is, is like, obviously the wind was blowing this way because that's the direction that your sock went on. Yeah, yeah. That sole is still light, though. I think, it's gone. I think it's gone, though. I think it might be gone. I don't know. Have some faith. What is yes? I'm not going past there. <laughs> if we can't, if it's gone, it's gone. I'll let me take a quick scope around here. Maybe I caught in the grass right here. No? Nope. <laughs> no bueno. It's all good. I like how he did the, because <laughs> this like helps you look farther. So when he did this, I knew that he was, uh, he had a better chance of finding it. <laughs> all right, shall we get some food? But did you find your underwear? Uh, so those are actually still up there. Those okay. Are, those are up there still. Yeah. The main thing I was looking for is my soul, insole. So it's all good. Your insole. Oh, here it is. Look Let's at go. that. You told you. Let's go. You said it was lighter. I mean, it is, but yeah, but it got caught. Look, it got caught right here, protected from the wind. But that's black, though. Oh, I meant light. As in the weight was light. Oh. Yeah. I think you meant like it was like like a gray or something. Good. Breakfast time. 
breakfast time. Let me put this up there. <laughs> Absolutely freezing right now. Hey Siri, weather. It's my phone. I'm here. Hey Siri, weather. It's currently cloudy and 59 degrees in China. Expect wind starting in the morning, then clear skies in the afternoon. Today's high will be 62 degrees China. and the low will be 48. I don't know if you guys do this, but we're in China, Mexico. That's the name of the place. No coronavirus here, at least not that I know of. at a uh, Mexican uh, like marketplace. Uh, we came here to buy a whole bunch of uh, posters and markers and tape uh, because they're going to be doing a special project that you guys can see in the Guggen channel. Uh, I don't know when it's going to go live, so uh, go stop over there and wait for it. But it's going to be, it's actually a pretty cool idea that they're doing. Um, for, for the time being, we are obviously building this. Rob, Rob has a question. Why isn't this Santa Clara 1924 Leche Light Light Milk uh, refrigerated? Because, um... There's a giant table full of it right there, not refrigerated. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's like, uh, it's, how, do you, how do you call it? What do you call that milk that you find in the, in the half cans? Half? Yeah, it's like half, no, no, it's not half and half. It's, uh, it's, it's like creamer. So it's not actual dairy milk? No, it's, it is actual dairy milk made with creamer. I just talked out of my ass sometimes, and I don't know when, I don't know how to stop. I just, people ask me questions and whatever my brain, just, you know how it goes. Anyway, we're gonna continue shopping, uh, and I hope that so far you guys are having a good time. Ready, Brian? Ready. So, what are we doing right now? We are. And where can they watch it? Uh, this is going to be on Guggen Squad, uh, the Guggen Squad YouTube page. We're, we're taking all of our taco uh, marketing materials and we're heading into the town of China to go try to sell some free, free tacos. American. When you say try, how can you do Don't you just do at that point? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think the interesting part is they're not going to trust us because we're just a bunch of gringos. We're not gonna know, what, you know, why are we here? Um, trying to give them food. It's, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> So they're, they're filming the video now and we ended up in a, in a taco place that pretty much is like on the side of the road and uh, and they're doing this, they're doing this. Uh, All right, so they're doing this. video that's going to go on the Google Squad channel, but more importantly, I can't just offer up, you know, free advice on tacos without trying the goods myself. Therefore, I'm about to dig in. We have some, uh, what are these? Carne asada. No, they're not. That's yeah. what it is. No. 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 That's what I asked for. No, so that's not what that is. What is it? I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to try the frijoles charros first. Or actually, Charros, okay, yeah. So the frijoles charros. It's got a. It's what I showed you guys earlier. It's got pork rind plus uh, hot dogs plus chorizo plus beans. Fire.
hey, whoa, 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 don't sit. What's up? I'm so glad. I'm so glad that Judith didn't come with me to Mexico. Because I can guarantee you that she would have picked up every single stray dog out here. Would have pampered them, showered them up, fed them up, gotten rid and then would have kept them. And then my house would be at, what, 18 dogs by the time that we got done? So, glad that this one will take her places. She did text me and say, yo, we should adopt someone. And I'm like, no. A day of good deeds has now come. And then we're going to head back to the mansion, to the hacienda, to the hotel. And uh, hopefully get some fishing. But by the looks of this wind, it doesn't look like that's going to happen today at all. All right, we've made it to uh, to the dinner spot, uh, and you can tell it's good. Well, I don't know if you can tell it's good or not, but everything in Mexico so far has been super, super delish. Uh, and right now we're having dinner at this place. Look at this. Look at this place. Psyched? I'm so psyched. Absolutely. Tacos and hamburgers. Delicious. All right, so obviously the entire day today was spent making videos instead of fishing and the reason was as you saw in the video it's just like the waves are just too tall for us to be able to hold a stable pace as we're pitching and flipping pulling and dragging i don't know what i'm saying but point point got in there big poppy wasn't it that's going yeah no fishing today tomorrow it's a different day tomorrow's supposed to be better and then um, anyway so we're out to dinner in the middle of town uh, it's actually a pretty cool spot it's across the hotel Good times, good food, good people. Let's have the cones that we do. So here you get two two little bowls. One is of uh, roasted some roasted pepper salsa. Then you get ketchup for the burger, and then you have uh, cream, creamy green salsa. But then on top of that, they give you this this little container of pico that you scoop into your tacos all right so they give us uh, fri frijoles charros and then i just order well uh flair and i just ordered a uh, a burger usually in mexico and i don't know if you guys know this but in mexico <laughs> in mexico they grab a burger and then they give you the patty and then on top of the patty they put ham and then they slice up hot dogs and they put that in there as well it is amazing today though we're having the tortuga which is pretty much a uh, a patty plus carne asada on top of that it's gonna be like ultimate fire and then matt and i ordered some of those red sausages that you see right there and the way they prepare them, and I, everybody else was sleeping when we ordered, but when we ordered, what they do is that they chop it up, they mix it with some verduras, some queso, we're talking about cheese, they said they're gonna toast, like, uh, they're gonna prepare some dope ass way that everyone's gonna be jealous and, and, and mad, Naked, naked and afraid that they didn't get it. It's kind of like a little bit of chopping block too. Oh, you guys should have come with this. I'm gonna tell you what's there. In this cup this of beans, <clears throat> there is uh, a little bit of goat cheese. <clears throat> a little bit of goat cheese. It's a little bit spicy, so I'm assuming they put some jalapenos in there. On top of that, they added pork rinds. On top of that, they added hot dogs. On top of that, they added chorizo. And of course, the beans. I cannot explain to you the, the exquisiteness of this cup of beans. Mm. All right, so this is the uh, the the sausage that I was talking about earlier. All right, so they put sausage. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me see if I can lift this up. What's that all the way at the bottom? Okay, so there's it's a taco. It's listen, listen, bro. Wow. All right, so there is let's say half of a quesadilla. Then they put carne asada on top of that. Then they put. The, uh, the the sausage on, on that, and then they added ham, and then they added American cheese, and then they added lettuce, and then they added cream and avocado. I'm gonna give, the, I'm gonna try to give this a, the, the, the biggest dangle, as they say here at Guggenville. Everybody careful with the table movement. Look at my tripod. <laughs> Let me show you my tripod. Can you see the tripod? It's it's literally sitting on a Coca-Cola bottle. Look at that. I got skills and they're multiplying. Anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a shot. 
I don't know how. Oh, wait, there's a spoon in here. Oh, no, no. I'm literally going to give this a bite. I swear to God. Oh, you want half of this? I'm going to give Matt half of this. Then... No, no, no. Yeah, we are. We are. We just, I just need to split it. All right, here we go. Matt, why don't you hold the camera, point it at the food. And then I'm going to try to grab it from here. Hey, someone want beer? Beer. Yes. Beer. Beer here. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. This is burgers. Sí. Mm, tortuga. No. All right. Okay, now give me your plate. Oh, wow. Here we go. That's fine. That's fine, bud. You can have some. Nah. Nice. Thank you. That's fine, bud. You can have some. Nah. Alright, so look at the side of it. This is, a, this is a salsicha dish. I don't even... dish. See, this is what happens when you speak Spanish for a while. Alright, so, as I said, quesadilla, carne asada, the, the, the sausage. It's like smokehouse sausage combo from IHOP. That's what it looks like. And then American cheese, then you've got the avocado. Over here, you have the Mondo burger, okay? You got avocado, uh, guacamole, you have ham, as I mentioned earlier, ham, and of course, obviously the, uh, the, 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 the ground beef. I, I, if I, if I, if there was a way to, let's say on the scale from one to 10, how tired I am, I would say probably like a fucking 11. And I'm not talking about tired from exercise or tired from working or tired, I'm tired from eating. I literally, I think I just, I just ate uh, one taco and they were massive. I ate half of that salchicha or sausage thing that I showed you. Then I ate half a burger. Then I drank two sodas. And then to top it all off, we had just eaten a couple of hours back. I wasn't hungry. And then we did this uh, Mexican candy challenge for the Google Squad channel. You guys gotta check it out. It's funny. And, and I was just, I'm just so full and I wish that I wouldn't have wasted so much valuable space putting other food inside of me when I could have ate this from the beginning. It is that good. Um, the name of this place is called Losano Tacos in China, Nuevo Leon, next to Lake El Cuchillo. El Cuchillo. All right, we finally finished. Anyway, that's the little place that we that we just had, like the most incredible dinner since we've been here. It was amazing. Two people serving like close to 20 people got everything done right quickly easy delicious day number two has come to a close and to an end it is now time to go to bed uh, because tomorrow we have an early day tomorrow it begins again with an alarm going off uh, tomorrow begins yet again with an alarm going off uh, us being extremely extremely tired uh, but nonetheless, we get started at close to, I believe. <laughs> uh, what time are we starting tomorrow? Starting, starting? Yeah. I mean, I Oh, care. actually tomorrow we don't have an early day because we're waking up late because apparently it's supposed to be like 43? Uh, 39. 39 degrees yeah, out there. Chilly. Not as windy, so the fishes, the fishies are not going to be awake yet. Okay, so we're going to come knocking at around 12 o'clock. So good night, good evening. I don't know, just go to sleep. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Nos vemos mañana.